Good morning, I'm Agostino Bruzzone from Genoa University and the simulation team. I will talk to you quickly today about an initiative that we had with Strategos, our first master program in strategic engineering, one of the first worldwide, with Water Academy. We have a strong synergy dealing uh, with the use of strategic engineering, so combination of modeling, simulation, data analytics, artificial intelligence to support decision making connected with real data with the activity of Water Academy on water strategy. Now, water is a very important resource for human life. It's very uh, destructive, the effect of water. It can create a civilization, it can create conflict. It can uh, bring to war or create fertile areas where you have uh, very good weather condition, where you can have strong production, but it's very interesting because despite, despite the fact that water is a, is a resource that is scarce on the planet because fresh water is not so diffused in nature, even without humans, often the water is contaminated, is not usable, so fresh water is very, very valuable. But uh, even if it's so huge, the need of water, and sometimes humans cannot do so much, we can do a lot. We know since the beginning of civilization, uh, irrigation from Egyptian, hanging garden in Babylonia, but most of all, I feel the modern concept of aqueducts that has been made by Romans changed drastically the quality of life and even the health of humans. Because without water, water is soft. You cannot clean. It's not just dealing with food, it's not just dealing with drinking, but it's even dealing with uh, fighting disease, have a good health conditions, hygiene, and so on. Even if you live in a Western country, very developed, if you don't wash your clothes, if you don't wash your house, if you don't wash yourself, in a few months, you will get uh, not just dirty, but you will have parasite, you will have insect, you will have a uh, lot of risk to have uh, bacteria, and disease arising, as well as a very, very serious sickness that could deal with the living. And so what we can do? Obviously, we can take the right decision, can evaluate the impact of the decision. And this is something important. And I would like to show you something that we are doing exactly in our synergy between Sin for Future, our high tech spin off simulation team, strategos, and water academy. So what we are doing models that we create uh, in order to support uh, decision, but even solution for teaching, because there is a big need to create a, a cultural background and the proper mindset to respect water in manager of the company, in responsible of institution that carry out program all around the world for saving, for developing, for renewing, etc. This is an example of our serious game that deal with developing a, a program for constructing a big dam. This big dam is in a developed area, but it's not just the construction, it's not just technical. You will be responsible of technical aspect. So how many people you want to put over here? You can put the information about what is going. So, for instance, at this month four, while I talk in the simulation is running, we completed basic engineering, we are going with the talent engineering, and we have even request, in this case, a local authority is asking us if we can give us some support against local guerrilla. There is a right or wrong answer, we don't know, but our decision will affect the consequence, okay? And so, based on that, something will impact on the culture, it will impact on the local population, it will impact on our domestic uh, public opinion, on our sponsors. So you will have to manage a lot of challenge in this framework. You, know? you, you can fly around uh, in this uh, environment and see what is happening. You know? So if I move. If we move. Eh? So we can get the picture of what is going around and maybe we can approach the dam, but in reality 
What is going interesting is the fact that I can use it to train the people and identify what is happening. Now it's just completed the basic engineering. We're going with the final print, and in parallel, they will start other activities. Okay. So, a very important aspect is sometimes when we do something, we have an opportunity to decide and to take a decision that could be time sensitive decisions. And these uh, time sensitive decisions require us to address the different problems. Sometimes we can do a good action on a village, some initiative in a village that could be positive, maybe bring new water there, but this could create tension on another side because the next village don't have water, and maybe the previous one create a barrier to others in order to. We can have impact on education, we can change the mindset of local population, we can provide opportunity. This game is very interesting because it's not just a big simulation system, but it can run even on your own computer. And it's interesting because while you run your simulator, you have the possibility to, to move around and to play the game on your mobile. And by your mobile, you can train a class you can train remotely people, you can train manager to learn how to deal with the different uh, problems and to react to the events that are happening around. So in this case, while the project proceeds, you can identify the right conditions and you can move in your world. So you can uh, have a joint cooperation on the game and create the condition necessary to be able to solve one of these problems. And solve one of these problems means to be able to carry out a longer timeline that could be even years, the construction of a major infrastructure, a program for cleaning water, new desalination, and distribution. Because in many cases, when you, we talk about VIP, we will have people that deal with uh, health and sanitation, but we will have even other countries that maybe have a concern about this initiative because it could reduce their own access to water resource. We can have a problem related to security, not only to health care, problem related to our interaction with the international organization that maybe are our sponsor, and even activities related with the locals. In this case, for instance, now we are starting the filling phase and uh, there is a continuous evolution of the project with many, um, let's say, critical events, opportunity and risk, and this approach can allow us to uh, be able to deal with risk, to identify the second effect, to predict the different alternative, evaluate the most promising strategy. You normally, we do that in classes, but this is a different approach. Is we do in class, maybe virtual, distributed, or, or in presence, but uh, we do with the ground truth that is managed by our simulator and by our simulator all the people can experience such virtual exercise so say they can learn by doing by putting in place decision and see the consequence interactively so they learn by making errors and by redoing correcting the errors understanding why they had mistake and some artificial intelligence they can care back of identify what could be the moment where somebody would make some wrong choice, etc. This is a very good example. Currently, we are activating educational program on that for top manager, for program manager of international organization, people of company, but even to diffuse knowledge of that in that we say population, because one big issue of this kind of scenario is that we can use this virtual experience to learn by doing not in reality, but in a simulated world that is very realistic and very reactive, that has been constructed by transdisciplinary experience of people that are creating the dam, people that are dealing with social aspect, cultural aspect, healthcare, political aspect, diplomatic issue, that all are affected by this one. And so at the end, we can have a new power opportunity, new development opportunity for the country, new water resource, and even negotiate with the other partner for the best solution. 
So thank you very much, and I hope you will have opportunity to experience directly our game. See you.